all my prints, which are from original neons, I hand finish because I want them all to be special. So my prints aren't really prints. They're all like uniques because I can't do the same thing twice. But what I do do, I gold leaf in the, uh, the nose. So you go over it, over it, over it until you get a nice gold coat. And jewels will go all around there. You can never have enough gold on a blinging picture. The original of this Rainbow Queen was at the Saatchi Gallery last October and it very oddly sold to the Korean Embassy who are, who are on Buckingham Palace Road next to the palace. I'm not sure if they realised it was a punk queen. Perhaps they just thought it was a queen. Here's one I finished earlier. You just get little flashes of gold, look through it. It's just lovely. I've golded in here, look. I do them all different. They're all completely, entirely different, so. Everyone that has one at home has a unique one. And it will be the same with the new castle edition that we do. Every print will be new. But they do need to be framed because we need the, the art glass to press down and compress the jewels. So this is going to be a sex, drugs and rock and roll. So I've been around the wood yard, cut me wood. And the background wood is irrelevant because you're not going to see it. I'm going to completely immerse it in paint my magic spray and it goes everywhere I just love it though, it's kind of a few drips is good because this is only the first layer and why I've used metallic paint is that the, the neon then will reflect back against it and give a nice shiny glow it'll give a lovely shiny glow and it will just look beautiful so that stage one. So we start with an historic World War II flag, which is just a beautiful thing in itself. And you could probably just, just about have this as a piece of art. But obviously what I've done, if I call it in the American words, I've upscaled it. So I've kind of, this flag was a bit of a mess. And what I'm going to do, look, I'm not going to try and repair holes. I mean, that's all part of its history. This flag survived World War II, so I don't really have any rights to try and stitch it up or colour it in. So I've laid it flat, glued it down and given it um, to the local framer to put it in this lovely wooden ornate frame to give it a sense of period. Then of course we love neon so this will be a London calling and the neon is in sections and that's purely because it's not that I can't make you a piece like that that big, that's possible but it's for breakages, so if you were, and it never happens, but if you were to drop it or something, or a bit failed, I'd just send you this in the post, we get a local electrician. So these need pinning back down onto their source, and they simply clip in, one, two. Then what happens is the neon will only work if it's electrified. So we have these little electrical terminals here, which are it's negative, positive. And when that's fired up from the transformer behind, which is hidden, um, this will light up. So in a minute, we'll show it lit up. I've learned over the years, been doing the neon eight, nine, 10 years, is that you want to make these as foolproof as possible because people are really scared of glass. They're like, oh, I'll break it, I'll break it. Once it's on the wall, it's indestructible. Everything's spring-loaded, so it'll take a little knock, look. So look, oh, I'm cleaning it. Oh, it didn't break it. So there's a, I've just tried to think of everything to make these so they outlive me. And if there was any ever breakages at any times, I'll either fix it or I've got a network of people around the country with little neon shacks like myself who I'll just send the piece to. So I just clip in the last bit of calling. Here it goes, bang, 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 it's completely uh, knockable. Yay! Here we have a wonderful World War II London calling. So this was given to me by the King of Neon, Chris Bracey, RIP. Um, I met very, very many years ago and he was a great friend 
and to cut a long story short, introduced me to the art of neon. And he gave me this piece because I'm Mark the Biker. <laughs>